Okay guys, so today I'm going to be running through the baby shoe strop or the baby shoe rig. So what you're going to need for that is you're going to need your main line. I just use leader line just for the demonstration. And then this is my hook line. Okay, so this, the reason why I use very light hook links or hook line is you want it to be subtle in the water you want it to be natural so you even you can even go very very light um even seven pound uh, seven pound you if you get hooked uh, say you get hooked on a branch you can break that hook off and still keep your rig then you just tie another hook on um, because usually when you make rigs this is your your strong line or a strong stronger line than your hook link okay you're going to need scissors side cutters or nail clippers okay knot puller you're going to need a sinker i'm just going to use this for demonstration purposes um, so this is just a, a plastic uh, sleeve that the sinker slides onto you're going to need two of these small swivels. You're going to need some gummy strops or gummy stops. You're going to need two beads. Okay, and then you're going to need two hooks. What I prefer doing is using two different color hooks. That way I can set one hook aside to say that's, say for instance, banjo, hard float, and that is, say, a caramel floaty so then if a fish bites and takes it you can take this out of the mouth and you can see okay well it's red okay that was banjo for instance okay perfect so let me go through this for you so you're gonna want to take a decent amount of length off here so what I do is I usually just take I take it from from there and I roll it once okay and that should be enough for the hook um, for the main line okay so that's just your inline setup okay and that is the length that we have okay so as you can see there's not very long but it's long enough okay and then I'm gonna do this this is one of the strongest knots that I know of two three Go through there. Okay. And you grab that side and you pass it through there. Okay. Pull it and just wet it quickly. Okay. And then you pull tight. Okay. Then I'm going to put a bead on here. Put that through there. And there we go. Okay, as you can see, this is very long now, so you can shorten it. I'll show you how to do that now. You go through there. Okay, and then when you're there, that's, that's where you want it, okay? So take it there, halfway, clip that off. Okay, and then same story, yeah, one, two three 
four, five. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the Albright knot or double singe, uh, the singe knot. You don't go twice around there. You only go once, okay? Wet it a little bit. And then you pull it. And there we go. Okay, and you just trim off the tag ends. Don't trim them off too much. So there's that, 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 that one is done. Then we do the same with the hook link here. Okay. So you take it. Okay. So as it is there, one shot. Okay. Clip it off there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the singe knot. So you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, then you bring it back through there. Okay, you hold that end. And then you pull it tight. Okay, so let me just wet it. That's why we have this knot puller. And there we go. Okay, so that is the singe knot. Okay, and then what do we do? is we take this one, we thread it through this little part here, of the gummy stop, okay, you want to relatively, you want to do it relatively high, you're going to do one, Put it all the way down there and then just for safety's sake I'm gonna add an additional two beads at the bottom here because then it doesn't go through the swivel the eye of the swivel okay so there we go put that one through there you put the bead you put the gummy stop And again, in the same spot that you had it there. You see? So you put the line through the gummy stop. It's got a little, a uh, little khaki there, a little hole. As you can put the line through, you hold your line, you pull it, and there we go. Then for safety's sake, just cut it off there. You don't want that on your line or on your thing. It becomes a weak link. Okay, perfect. So we do another singe knot. So we put it through there. These are relatively big hooks. It's just for demonstration. Might as well use them. Okay. So pull it. 
Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, Start again, yeah. Okay, so. So. It's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Put a three, yeah. Hold it there, bring it down a little bit, wet your knot, now if you don't have a, a knot puller, you can, use in, you can even use a nail clippers, so what I do, is I take the nail clippers just like that, and just for safety reasons, I'm going to just put the knot puller there, and then I'm going to singe it down and then you can pull on it nicely see how it stretches you don't want to stretch it too much that it breaks so i'm happy with that take the nail clippers now with this knot you can cut it right at the bottom and you can thread worms on there Nicely, safely. Okay. And there we go. That's what they call a baby shoe. So, it's effective. And I've never ever had any issues with it. Other than it getting hooked. But I've had issues with all my rigs getting hooked. And um, yeah, that's that. And then all you do is you take it just like that. You put it in the bag. And there. Ready to use. All right. Thanks, guys. Remember to like and subscribe for some more videos. And please let me know what you like to see or or what you'd like me to cover in the next videos coming. So, thanks for watching.